the world hates what I'm about to say. They don't want to hear it, and they do everything in their power to avoid having to deal with that reality. And that reality is that you will be forgotten one day. For us as Christians, those of us who are truly in Christ, that's not a bad thing. That's not bad news for us. Because this place, this world is not our home. We don't live for this world. But those in the world, that's the worst news ever. So many, so often I've heard people say things like, I want to leave a legacy. Or I want to have kids so that I can be remembered in some kind of way. Or I want to start this business so that my name can live on. It won't matter. You'll be forgotten. And one of the most terrifying verses in regards to this is Psalm 6.5. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In hell, who will give you praise? In hell, who will give you praise? And even if you're a Michael Jordan and you have a statue in Chicago and everyone's praising you, they're taking pictures next to the statue, they're telling their kids about who was Michael Jordan, he will be in hell and it won't matter. It simply won't matter to him. Okay. One of the most popular people in my family, one of the most popular people I've known was my grandfather. I have a large family and within my family, he was the guy, he was the popular guy and it was because he had a big heart. And I'm using the heart in a, in a symbolic nature. Okay, he was lost. I do believe he died in his sins. Uh, I actually got saved two years before he passed. And I learned enough to be able to share the gospel with him a year before he died. But by this time, dementia had caught on. And I don't believe he grasped exactly what I was saying, even though he was nodding along with me. Uh, but I did share the gospel with him. But he, was, he had a big heart. He, uh, if you needed help, he was there for you. He was always willing to give people money, to drop what he was doing and help people. And I remember not even two weeks after he died, uh, no one, no one, it was like as though no one cared. Life just went on. Uh, walking through my grandmother's house, it was just like he never existed unless you saw, you know, his picture in the corner. I mean, even today, she doesn't even talk about him. She doesn't mention him. So it's like the man never existed. It, it, it's, it's literally like he never existed. Okay. Um, everything he accomplished, uh, every relationship he started. All the money he made, all the success he had with his business, whatever it was, it's forgotten as though it never happened. And this is a reality you must come to terms with. But this reality is meant to drive you to Christ, who is eternal. OK. Because you want to live with him. You want to live with the Lord. Everything about this world here is passing away. But Christ is not. He is eternal. He is forever. He's never changing. Okay. So I was watching a, uh, a clip by Paul Washer this morning. It was on his Heart Cry Curriculum channel. And he was talking about how he talks to his child, his children, about people of old, people who were famous, who they don't even care about, who they've forgotten themselves. And I want to go ahead and play a short clip of uh, Paul talking about talking to his oldest son. And I'm going to go ahead and give my opinion after the clip. I used to tell my children, still do, do you, do you uh, celebrate George Washington's birthday, the founder of our country? Um, do you like throw a party? Do you have, you know, an hour of silence? Do you look at pictures of George Washington? What do you do? And they go, Dad, we don't do anything. <laughs> I said, I know. He was the founder of a country, the first president. Children, do you think you'll be as famous as him? They go, well, probably not. Okay, so you pretty much know you're not going to be as famous as him. And at the same time, he's basically forgotten. And one last thing I want to talk about before I end this is uh, I've had people actually email me in regards to a video I uploaded some years ago when I used to upload videos from pastors in regards to children's catechism and they would be upset with me. They would say things like kids are too young at that age to grasp that. You don't need to tell them that you wait till they're teenagers. You know, that, that's, that stuff is too heavy for them. And that's one, in my opinion, as a believer, that's one of the most foolish things you can do is wait in regards to your children. Kids die. Okay. Children die. They die before their teenage years. Okay, and if that child could read, if that child could read, that child will be will be held accountable in judgment. Okay, in the Old Testament, God actually killed children for the disrespect they showed towards their parents. 
So just in knowing that, we see how important it is that the children you raise be raised up in the fear of the Lord. Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. So it's to their good that you do train them up biblically, not hide that from them. And to the parents that do hide that from their children, they don't do it for the betterment of their child. They do it because of themselves. They do it because they hate the God you would be training them to fear, okay? They hate the God that they you would be talking to their children about. It has nothing to do with the child. It has everything to do with their hatred and disdain for the God of the Bible. So I don't ever buy that when a parent says we shouldn't talk about the things of hell or or death to, to kids under the age of 12. I don't believe that. Okay, I've talked, I've, I've, I've dealt with some children that are extremely intelligent and, and are very capable of reading and grasping concepts of scripture at the ages of nine, eight, seven, eight, nine years of age. So it's not too early, okay? And I just want to touch on that one last thing. Also, uh, Deuteronomy eleven nineteen, you shall teach them to your children, taking of them when you are sitting in your house and when you are walking by the way and when you lie down and when you raise. So we see it's extremely important to train your child, teach them in a way that they should walk and who they should fear.